In this episode, we'll be working on frame and panel doors. So let's get to work. Before I start the construction of the door, I need to add a face frame to the back side of this cabinet wall. My door is gonna hinge from this side and close onto that side. So I'll go ahead, pre-drill some holes and secure it with some screws. Once I get this added, I can grab some measurements. So with the opening prepped, I can go ahead and grab measurements for my door. I'll be using full overlay hinges. And based on the recommendations of the manufacturer, that determine the actual size of my door. Your hinges may vary, so just double check those recommendations. Today I'll be making a frame and panel door. That'll consist of two mitered rails, two mitered styles, with a dado in the middle to accept the panel. First thing I'll do is cut the rails and styles to rough length. There's several different ways you can do this dado. I just prefer the MFK 700 because of its size, it's easier to balance on these smaller pieces. And with my setup, once I get one dado done, all I have to do is just readjust, move this piece back, lock those in place, do the next one, and keep repeating that process. I'm only adjusting the machine once, moving the material for the machine. Similar to what I did with the 1400 router, I can adjust the base and the edge guide of this router to my center line that's marked on the base just by loosening these screws and adjusting the micro adjust to get that perfectly centered. Lock these back down. Once the base is back installed on the router, I can set the depth. Just loosen the large knob here and then this green knob is my micro adjust. I'll be making this dado nine millimeters deep. So I'll just use the spacers that I already have, which is a five millimeter and a four millimeter domino tenon and just line it up that way. Now I know that's exactly nine millimeters and I'm ready to cut. So with the dados cut, now I can take them back to the capex and cut them to final length. I'll be cutting the styles first at 755 millimeters, long point to long point of a 45 degree miter. Got them clamped in place using a stop, so that way each piece will be exactly the same. And also follow the same process for the rails. With the dados complete, now I can work on the joinery. I'm gonna be using the domino with a four millimeter cutter. So we'll be using a four by 20 millimeter tenon. For the layout, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna be using the support base again. So I'll be using the 20 millimeter offset off the long point. And then coming in off the short point, I'll just be referencing off of this edge and making a loose tenon at 25 millimeters. For the Plate height, I'm gonna set the gauge block at 20 millimeters, which will make that mortise 10 millimeters down from the top surface. The depth that I'm gonna be plunging to is 20 millimeters. With all my settings correct, I can make my first mortise. With all the mortises cut, now I can do a dry fit. Once I do the dry fit, I can measure from my panel, just like I did with the drawers. Dry fit's complete and it looks good. So the next step in the process is to measure the height and the width of the inside of the door frame, and then add 14 millimeters for that panel. That accounts for the nine millimeter depth dado on the top and bottom and both sides, plus a little bit of wiggle room for expansion and contraction. Thank you. 
So now I'll do a quick dry fit of everything, make sure everything fits good, and then we can move on to glue up. With it all dried up and pulled out of clamps, I can go ahead and give it a light sanding, and then we'll be ready for hardware. I'm gonna be using 35 millimeter cup hinges. There's a lot of different styles out there, a lot of different manufacturers. So please read your instructions once you get your hardware and base your installation off of those instructions. As I was finishing up that small door, I really started to look at the area that I had planned for two doors and what I would plan to store in there. And I thought about the nook that I put over here. So I decided to put a nook over there as well to store small pieces of material, things of that nature. And then basically making that two door area into one giant door. The process for this large door will be the same as the small door. We'll have rails, styles, and a center panel. So now with both of the doors completed and a bonus extra cubby, the next step in the process is to finish up the small drawers, which will be done almost like the big drawers with some slightly different joinery. If you want to continue with the build, click here or check this out. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be notified when we upload new content, click that notification bell.